It was some time in the year 2023 and you wanted a change of scenery. So out of 195 countries, you decided to follow your nose and it took you to Jollibee Land, also known as the Philippines. But as a newbie around town, you thought to yourself, what challenges will I run into and what will the rewards be? Happily, your adventure started on a positive foot. When you first arrived in the Philippines, you were blown away by the hospitality of the local people. You found that they loved sharing information about the Philippines but what they loved more was you getting involved in their culture. So you did and they respected you for it. You found during this time that Filipinos were incredibly proud people and were also foreign friendly. This is the first reward of living in the Philippines you thought to yourself. But after some time you saw the good and the bad. You noticed that positive or negative judgment is common even if you are an expat. The judgment that you are wealthy, the judgment that your Filipino girl friend is only with you for money and the judgment that if you say anything remotely bad about the country even if it's based on data and facts you are wrong. You found that this is the first challenge that many expats face but this is only some people so you continued on your adventure. After some time you moved to Cebu City as you heard some great reviews. You found that what expats really love about the Philippines is the ability to reinvent themselves and to really enjoy their life. Expats were able to live well, get to know a new community and feel happy in their new environment. You saw the problems and challenges in the Philippines but you knew this country offered you more than your home country ever could so you found a second reward. But after some time in Cebu you started to think about maybe settling down perhaps meeting a nice Filipina but this wasn't so easy. You noticed some cultural differences and you came across a lot of bad stories so it took you time to find the right Filipina. But even though this was a challenge you found it a worthwhile quest. A few months passed and you decided to explore a new area and you heard the locals talking about a magical area called Mindanao. This was made up of many cities and towns but you decided to check out a little city called Tagum. Here you found a unique way of life. Due to your experiences and skills you felt that you could really make some positive changes in this area so you discovered your third reward, the opportunity to do a lot of good. But sadly you also ran into your third challenge. Challenge. This is knowing who you can and cannot trust. You see that the Philippines is a land of beautiful smiles and friendly locals, but you also found that scams are very common across the country. You saw plenty of opportunities, but you didn't know what was right and felt confused, so you decided to take a break. On Monday morning, you took the flight heading to Porta Princesa. You heard from other expats that there is a beautiful spot in the north of the island called El Nido. Here you saw the raw beauty of the Philippines. From the gorgeous seas to white sandy beaches, El Nido had it all. You took a moment to think about your adventures so far and you discovered the fourth reward, natural beauty. There are many beautiful places you thought to yourself, but nothing like the Philippines. As you were taking in the beautiful beaches you thought about your new life. You have everything that you need for a new life direction but something is not right. Then it hit you, the fourth challenge of living in the Philippines and that is change. You notice that some expats are lonely and have a very difficult time even with all this beauty but why? There were many reasons but you found that one was because they didn't want to change inside. In a new country such as the Philippines expats need to experience and their comfort zone, talk to others and get involved, otherwise life can be very difficult, you thought to yourself. A few weeks passed, so you decided to take a flight back to Manila. When you were on the plane, you started to think about different things. You remember reading just how cheap the Philippines is all those years ago, but with all this traveling you've done, it wasn't as cheap as you were told. Just then, you found your fifth challenge. The cost of living in the Philippines has increased, and it's far from the cheapest country to live in in Asia. But despite this, you concluded that the pros outweigh the cons. As your flight was 
near its end and will soon be arriving at Manila Airport. You thought about your fifth reward. What could it be? You thought and thought and then suddenly it came to you. The real reward of living in the Philippines hasn't happened yet. With all your experience and knowledge that you've gained, you see the Philippines for how it is. A beautiful growing country filled with change and prospects. Naturally, there will be many challenges and hurdles in the future but also many rewards and opportunities.